السلام عليكم مولانا عليكم السلام there is krill oil it is originates from shrimps just found in north atlantic area does those have the rule of fishing outside water or even if they are inside and die it's okay Okay, when it comes to the, so you're talking about the oil extracted yeah. from shrimps, you are saying? For krill, krill. krill. It is krill. shrimp, but called krill. This type of shrimp, okay. Um, okay, let me just explain one issue about the fish. Yeah. When, when we talk about fish, the scale fish, which is halal, there are only two things about it. Um, Number one, that it should have scales. Number two, it sh should have been fished um, where it was alive when it came into your control. So for example, either you fish it out and it's alive and then it dies later on, it's fine. But if there is a fish which was floating on the water and it was dead, it is haram for us. However, when we talk about commercial fishing, where these huge vessels go and you know, they put in this net of you know, long area and then it's tons and tons of fish are trapped in it. As long as the fish were trapped in that net when they were alive, that's fine. If they die after coming into the net, it's halal. Or for example, you were fishing and you had about, let's say two, three hooks there with the bat. And one fish comes in and it's trapped. You don't want to take it out, you still want to wait for you know, other two baits to be occupied. Waiting for other fish to come in. While you're waiting, the first one dies. But because it died after it came into your control or possession, it is halal for you. And so um, as far as the issue of, you know, uh, so scaled fish is concerned, if, uh, there's no issue of the fisherman or the fisherwoman to be halal, uh, Muslim. There is no issue of bismillah, there is no issue of slaughtering it, no. The main thing is that it should be, uh, when you caught it, it was alive. Whether it came out of the water or you, it came in your net and then it died. Uh, so any, any kind of, uh, you know, egg or oil made from the fish which is halal is also permissible. Now that special uh, case that you asked I have to just go through my email to check because I think this question came and I'm, you know, I'm asking my son to later on get all these questions of this part, you know, put together. Um, Okay, maybe go to the next question before, while I look at this. Okay, thank you. Uh, we are now going to be serving Tabaruk, uh, and uh, to, to just assure you all, Al's Pizzeria is halal, so no issues on that front, inshallah. Okay, okay uh, I, I have the answer for Monora Bai's question about krill. Yeah, this was a question somebody sent to me in 2014, June. And my answer there is I looked at this oil, um, krill oil. Although krill looks simil similar to shrimp, but it is not from the shrimp family. And so its oil would not be okay for us. This is as far as consuming that oil is concerned. What about using it for ointment or rubbing on use? If we, if we can... Um, what? 
he, he's mentioning that krill is the best source of omega-3. Okay, but since it is not actually from the shrimp family, it would not be permissible to consume it. Okay. Ahsan, okay. thank you. Thank you. We do have a lot of questions to get through, so uh, if we can just try and keep our questions as brief as possible. Um, if, do we have any on the... Okay, we have quite a few on the lady side. Thank you very much.